Android 13 is here with new privacy and theming features and a new sweet treat. Well, kind of. Take a sec to subscribe and we'll get stuck into our first look at Android 13 Developer Preview 1. First off, we sort of have the first Android sweet treat name in four years. Officially, it's still just Android 13, but the preview build here is very much Android 13 tiramisu. Though they have existed for Android 10, 11, and 12, Google's been pretty quiet about these Android codenames over the past few years, but they have been alluded to with one or two cheeky tweets from time to time. Tiramisu, that's the Android version, not the spongy Italian dessert, is of course extremely early on right now, with the full release not expected until August at the soonest, that means Google hasn't revealed much of what'll be in the final release of Android 13, plus a lot of the features that were announced by Google aren't actually live in the build that you can download today. With that said, let's dig into what's there right now and what we know is coming later. First up, there'll be a new Photo Picker API in Android 13, designed to securely pick images that you choose to share with apps so you don't have to give them access to your entire camera roll. The mock-up here shows how it'll work, should be a good way to avoid giving apps more access than they need, as well as debuting in Android 13, this will also be rolled out to devices on Android 11 and up as a Google Play system update. Next, Google's finally extending the icon theming in Material U to all app icons. Basically, apps will provide a monochrome version of their app to be themed when themed icons are enabled. This doesn't appear to be live just yet, but it should go a long way towards eliminating that ugly pick and mix of themed and unthemed icons that you'll come across if you use this on Android 12. Per app language options were a rumoured feature that's now been officially confirmed for Android 13, however it's not live in the current build just yet. This is a great feature for bilingual users, especially if certain apps might work better in one language versus another, and thanks to some code spelunking by Michel Rahman from Esper, we can see what it might eventually look like. Another feature he's been able to uncover is automatic clipboard clearing built into Android 13. Right now it's hidden and disabled by default, but it looks like it's set up to clear anything that's been on the clipboard for more than one hour. Any app can access the clipboard, so this should avoid letting apps see things they're not supposed to. There's also a new API for placing tiles in Android's quick settings area, with this new dialog giving you an easy way to choose whether to install a tile or not. Previously you had to manually go in there and look for new third party tiles, so this way is a lot more convenient. In Android 13, a lot more components are being rolled into Android's project mainline, aka Google Play system updates meaning they can be updated without a full system update. These include Bluetooth and ultra-wideband, letting Google update this stuff more quickly across every device with Android 13. Android 13 also opens up programmable shaders to third-party apps. These are already used by the OS itself to create various effects in Android 12 like the overscroll effect and blurring, and now developers will be able to use the Android graphic shading language to create effects of their own. Android's also getting quicker at drawing text too, with faster rendering of hyphenation when one word is split between two lines. So we're kind of all over the map in terms of which features we know about right now. As you'd expect from a first developer preview, Android 13 in its current form looks pretty much identical to Android 12. Currently Android 13 is at the very beginning of the developer preview stage, which means a manual firmware flash is your only way to get it onto your device. If you have a Pixel 4 or later you can give it a spin, but you'll probably want to wait a few more months before installing it on your main device. The first public beta isn't expected until later in spring, ahead of a full release in August or September, and by then we should be seeing a lot more new features. In any case, stick with us and subscribe to Android Central so you don't miss all our Android 13 coverage in the coming months, and be sure to share your thoughts and hopes for Android 13 down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.